Okay. Hi, I'm Alison Pilling. And every week I come on here and I share my spirit guide, Hector the Great Horned Owl's energetic wisdom for the upcoming week. So that's going to be for March 17th to 23rd. And typically I channel Hector ahead of time. And I do a very quick video that show that literally I just go through exactly what came through. I thought what I would do for this week was I'll give you a little glimpse as to what channeling Hector looks like. So I'll ask for you to be patient with me <laughs> as I typically channel him through journaling. So if you see me writing off to the side or focusing off to the side, that is what I'm doing. When I channel Hector, um, he typically, so he's a great horned owl. He's quite large when he shows up in my, my, I guess, vision, <laughs> we'll say. And he typically swoops in and he perches to my right. So I will probably be focusing over here. So I just wanted to explain that to you if you're watching this video, video and you're like, what the heck is that girl looking at? <laughs> so anyways, that's where it comes from. So, you know, let's get to it. Um, I start with a very easy, you know, I have an opening and a closing. The opening is just taking a couple breaths and asking Hector to come. And then my closing is literally just saying thank you and showing gratitude to him. It, it truly is that easy, we'll say, simple to um, connect with or channel my spirit guide, Hector. Okay. So, here we go. I'll ask for Hector's energetic wisdom, my spirit guide's message for the week of March 17th to 23rd, 2024. So Hector, he, as I said, he swoops right in and he is quite large. He, he perches himself on my right-hand side and he's smiling. He says, way to go, Allison. <laughs> I'm proud of you. So I say thank you. And I'm just asking him, what, what do we need to see for this upcoming week, March 17th to 23rd? And what he's showing me is that... Uh, it's almost like this field and it, the grass is green. There's some brown in the grass. So maybe that's a springtime feeling. And it's almost like tumbleweeds are going across. The sky is gray. It feels kind of dull. It, it doesn't necessarily feel light and bright. It feels a little bit daunting. Not necessarily bad daunting, but just like a little bit heavier. We'll say heavier. And Hector smiles and, and puts his focus back to me and he says, yes. This upcoming week, we'll have some challenges. And there's some big decisions that you need to make for what's coming up. Don't let them weigh too heavy. You already know the answer. Trust your gut. And when these questions and opportunities to have these conversations or to reflect upon yourself come to the forefront and you feel ready to actually address them, because right now I'm feeling some hesitation Hector is feeling or sharing this energy of there's a bit of hesitation on some things that need to be um, brought to the forefront, need to be addressed, some decisions need to be made to move forward into what I'm feeling is into the summer, right? Into the remainder of this year. There's some things that are just kind of lingering from this January to March time frame that need to be addressed. It says exactly. This is what the focus is this week. It's to not shy away when these 
moments, feelings, words, opportunities, conversations come to light to really take a deep breath and step into speaking your heart. As Hector shares, we already know what the answers are to these questions, to these opportunities, to these situations. It's a point of sharing this knowing, sharing what we already know within our being and standing firm in them. <laughs> he kind of smiles, he goes, I know. <laughs> There will be some pushback. There'll be some hesitation. So whether that's on your side and that's guilt or whether that is the complexity of what's coming up or what that ripple effect will have. But Hector does encourage or and Hector encourages us to stand firm in our knowing, realize that Within the next week, there could be some daunting, heavier topics, situations, opportunities, conversations that come into our lives. So to really make sure that we make that space to take care of ourselves and that we honor the clarity we have within us and trust what will come out in these moments is what needs to come out. It will be our truth. And this is the key to being compassionate to yourself. And when you have this connection, what will move forward will be compassionate to others as well. It says, rest my child. Next week may feel heavy and that's okay. That's part of, that's life. There will be brighter days. Hector shares, he says, <laughs> thank you for giving this a try live. And I'll just thank him back. So yeah, that is Hector's message for March 17th, 2000 or to the 23rd, 2024, um, as channeled by myself, Alison Pilling. I'm an intuitive life coach. So yeah, if you want to get in touch with me, you can um, check out the bio or send me an email or, you know, like this channel and see what comes up next week with Hector. Okay, take care.